Alright guys, today I made a script that you guys feel free to copy, like exactly how I wrote it if you'd like, but it'll basically allow you to store an infinite amount of numbers, or like an infinitely high number uh, in Unity, which I think the actual limit is like 2 billion and something, and it has to do with... Um, what bit your processor is but using this method you can go higher than that so I'll explain it real simply I made an array for how much money we actually have and then I made an array of strings to display that and it'll add in the zeros um, this is just to like I guess you could say initialize it but this doesn't really mean anything so, down here I wrote this function, and it updates how much money we have, which this is just an example. You can do anything. I just did money because I thought that worked best. And it says if your money, and zero would be like the first, first block, because they're blocks of uh, nine digits. So I did three blocks of nine digits, so you can get a 27 digit long number. So if it's less than zero, and then our next block is greater than uh, zero, which means there's at least one there since this is integers, um, it'll take one from there and add 10, what would that be? That'd be a billion. It add one billion to our initial one which if we're less than zero that'll take you down to nine digits anyway so that's perfect and it does it the other way around if the next block like the middle block is uh, zero and the next block is uh, greater than one it'll take one from there um, and I used else if statements so we don't waste our processing power. So here it's saying if we have more than um, 999,999,999, we'll add one to the next block and subtract uh, 1 billion from the current block. And same thing with the uh, middle block in the in the um, the biggest block, right? And that's basically all this stuff does. And this, basically, if the biggest block is less than uh, less than zero, it'll set them all to zero. The lowest block is less than zero, and it makes it through all of these without um, without updating it. Obviously, then you have a negative amount. Therefore, it sets it to zero. So this is kind of optional here kind of depends on what you're doing and then here's where we go and put it together and add in the zeros and make it look nice and I'll I'll show you my example so this is an important um so I made a for loop which I guess doesn't really matter in the end and the i value matches up with the array number so uh, you can just input I for each of these and it'll um, it'll find out how many digits each one contains so between 10 and 99 that's going to be two digits 100 and 999 that's three digits and then four digits five digits six digits seven digits eight digits etc and it'll add one zero at the beginning based on how many you need so it adds the zeros as a string and then the money and when you write it like this you don't have to say dot to string. However, um like here for example, if we didn't have this here since we set it to nothing, you'd have to write dot to string at the end, like this for example. So I believe this is saying This is saying, um, let's say 
the middle and the highest block is um, zero. Don't add all those zeros on in the front because that'll make it look goofy. You'll have maybe like six zeros, for example, and then three significant digits. And you don't really want that. And it does that for when i equals one, which would be the, the middle block. And um, the bigger block is greater than zero. That's when you want to add these. So if the biggest block was one, then the middle block you want to add the zero so it looks like the actual number we're trying to represent. And then basically it's saying here if the biggest block is zero, don't add all those ones and just set it directly to that value. ETC. I'll just show you how it works. I'll go slowly over this code and you can pause wherever and copy whatever you want to take from this. This message isn't necessary. I just, it wasn't working initially. So yeah, 132 lines, not too bad. And this is, I know it says inventory, but I'm going to do all the inventory stuff in here as well. So I'm sure this script will be well over a thousand lines once I'm done. Now here's my example. Get the game going. I already have it locked here. So, element zero on our money, since I made these, uh, these uh, arrays public, I can see it in the editor. Let's say I set the smallest block, which would be 1 through um, 999,999,999. ,999 ,999. Let's say I increase that. As you see, it updates, and this is what you would want to show in-game if you had money up here, for example. Now let's say the middle block. So 1 billion all the way up until whatever number that ends at. That would be uh, shown by this block, and if I increase it, you'll see it adds a bunch of zeros and plus this at the front. So here we have 70. Let's make it 7. So we should be able to count these three digits plus six zeros in front of it, and that would give you the nine digit block. So 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's exactly what we want. Now in front of the 7, if we increase the element 2, which would be our biggest block, since we only made 3 blocks, we should have 8 zeros in front of that 7. So let's set it to 9. Alright, let's count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. And the biggest number you can get, since they're 9 digit blocks, 999, nine, nine, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we'll go up to this one. We'll just copy it. And that is the biggest number you can get there. 27 nines in a row. Now, like I said, um, you can edit the script and you can add in more blocks and get bigger numbers than this. But uh, when it comes to money, I don't see why you'd ever need any more digits if you even need this many digits in the first place but this is just for my example and let's say I increase this one more I um, how I set it up I'm hoping so you can read here I think it's this one yeah if money zero is greater than zero and money one is greater than or equal to zero or less than, less than, my bad, less than zero, less than zero, less than zero, it should reset them all to zero, or if it's greater than zero, well that doesn't make any sense, if money two is greater than, 
zero. Well, <laughs> uh, it might not work. Yep, it reset back to zero. That's what I wanted. Now let's paste that value back in. Now, if I set if I set this one over, they should also reset. So everything reset back to zero, exactly how it's supposed to. Again, I set that as optional because maybe you want to uh, do another block, or maybe you want it to stay there. Um, I'll leave that around for. Or I'll let you guys play around with that. I'm not very interested in that. But as you can see, when everything is zero, we have one zero showing, which be, would be perfect if you want to display the money. You could put a dollar sign before it or whatever symbol you want to use and then put the number before or after that. Completely up to you guys. Uh, I'll be doing that in the future. Um, until then, see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.